Welcome everybody. Welcome to Jenny's channel and <laughs> spiritual trail and hippie Jenny's channel or gypsy. My kids call me a hippie all the time. Um, I'm doing the Rhoda Morgenstern look. <laughs> I read my comments yesterday and saw that uh, one of my biggest supporters, Mary, hi Mary, um, dared me to wear the bandana or Rhoda Morgenstern. Actually, I can't find my bandanas. I do have a Firefly one. When I went to Firefly, I did have my bandana on. But um, this is actually a pillowcase. <laughs> I couldn't find one. The only one I could find was a um, Donkey Kong one my kid had. Um, he's he's just turned 15, but he had one. It was too small. My head's too damn big for that one. So <laughs> I put this one. This is my son who passed away's pillowcase. So that was kind of nice. Anyway, sporting my look. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm going to go ahead and get our um, daily message. I got these new cards um, when we, when I was up at the uh, mall the other day with my kids. Um, it's called the Archeo, and it's understanding and developing your archetypes. It's a little different book. I'm kind of not used to it yet, but it's probably a really good one. It's just, it's a different, which is kind of good because even though they all have different um, meanings, a lot of the Oracle decks are kind of the same, but... Um, somewhat, but this is a little different, the archetypes. So I figured I'm going to pull a couple of these, okay? Um, I think I have a job lined up. I'm not too happy that it's five days a week. I, I do work full-time, but I usually, I'm usually i so used to doing the 312, so you have four days off, which is a lot more time. So I'm hoping it's not going to fringe too much on this. Um, I had one job offer for behavioral health, and I thought, well, I could maybe make a really difference with that. And I thought, oh, no, I'm an empath, so that's going to be draining. But then I had another offer, so now I feel bad about one of them I got to turn down. So anyway, enough about my rambling. I ramble too much. Let's go ahead and get our daily message. Um, oh, I could always do the uh, personal readings, like my friend or my supporter Mary said, my cheerleader. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I Maybe someday I feel like... I don't know if I'm confident enough. And also, too, for money-wise, I don't think it would still pay all my bills, unfortunately. Things are so damn high. I read somewhere the other day that the inflation rate is uh, is worse, or it may be even be worse, worse or the same as 1974. So I guess it was really bad then. So I'm like, ah, oh, what's this world coming to? There's so much craziness. <laughs> what's going on? That's why I like still stick with this, because I actually thought, I can't even make it to get pay, have ads pay for like my cards or anything because I don't have enough subscribers. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just give it to the, the end of the year. And then if I don't have it, enough to do it because they require a, a lot of hours watched and so many subscribers before you can link ads to them, um, which I don't think it would be much anyway. But I'm like, I can't even like work. Well, I would, eventually I would like to work part time maybe as a nurse. and But, I you know, I got to make money. So I can't do that yet. I would still make enough. Anyway, enough about that. I still think this is important. So as long as I keep having time to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, after a few tries, I got the um, uh, Aquarius video out yesterday. And I had done the, uh, one of these too. And it just messed up. So hopefully we'll have a good time this time. So let's go ahead and get our message. Enough would be rambling. Let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to bring out for our daily message with these archetype cards. Spirit, work your magic, please. What do we need to hear today? Ooh, okay, well, here's one. And it is Duend. D-U-E-N-D-E. Duend. That's an interesting one. And it kind of looks like she's dancing. And then there's like this maybe misunderstood creature over here, like dancing with her. That's interesting, like dancing with her things that she thinks people misunderstand, but still loving herself, even though she might not be the same as other people or people might misunderstand her. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and get another one. Then we're going to pull a few tarot cards on each card. Angel. Angel. Nice. And eh, I'm called to do one more. And then this one is, where's the word? Huh. What is that? No, that's a number. Is this Giyak? There's like, these ones have it on the side. This one just says numbers on the side. 712638. But it says Giyak. Gebak. Maybe that's what it is. I'll look and see. But those are the three that are coming out. So let's go ahead and do this to end. Trying to get the glare. I shut that curtain. The sun was shining in. Hmm. 
Okay, do end. So this card is about, try and get it like there, that's better. Attribute is Duen is the spirit of the deepest creativity, a silent sound, a struggle that surges up from the soles of our feet. It is of blood, ancient culture, and action, and it calls us out. Without it, our artistic works will be tepid and superficial. Yet with it, our nerve endings become exposed and raw. Persona. It comes with full for force or not at all, burning through us, searing away our resistance. Duen fires us with a power of far beyond our normal capacity for expression, making us an outlet of profound art and music. Both primitive and highly sophisticated, its presence sets alight the core of our potential. It is the passionate specter of the earth, a hob hobgoblin muse demanding that we are open ourselves up to all possibilities. With Gutorial song, the Donkey Kong music, that's my son's it's something on my sons. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Summon from the caves of our souls. It accepts no lies. The duend is nearby, a pregnant and overlooking power that is life, fate, and the consumption of risk and knowledge. It is not a mere con concept, but a very real presence. Make Made visible is a huge, potent passion and patient and less tolerant than anything the human will can, will can gr a grasp. It is bittersweet bliss that will inf infiltrate the bloodstream like a toxin. It is life loved and lived with the greatest of passions. But if that lo love is lost, the duen leaves us with an unconsolable grief. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. You know, that we have this, I kind of think humanity in a way does have this underlying grief. Because I kind of think like our soul knows that, you know, things aren't like they, like they should be. That things are unfair. Like... I really feel like that, don't you? That's why it's like so important for us, like light workers and star seeds and empaths, to really push for it. I mean, it's painful, it really is. We can be exposed a lot and disappointed a lot, but people have to realize that. And I just saw like um something on social media. It was says like, if you're not in a relationship, do you feel lonely or freedom? And it's like a matter of perception. But I think too many people, I mean, there's even celebrities do, to do that with the initials JL, <laughs> hop from one relationship to another. That is ridiculous. You haven't even healed. You don't need somebody to make you happy. You know, it's nice to have somebody. I'm not saying that we all don't want love and all that. But you have, have to get, get yourself together and be happy with yourself before you just go from one relationship to another. You're just carrying all that baggage and all that insecurity. No matter how beautiful you look or how much money you have, you are still can, can still be insecure. So you have to get it together, right? There's like this underlying grief because of just how things are. And we need to tap into that, um, that deep passion, that deep knowing, that deep unconditional love, you know? So let's get a couple of tarot cards. I'm going to go ahead and use these cards today. Whoa. Huh. Well, we have a few, but I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna take. I'm just gonna take the top one though. Two of Swords. Seeing things clearly for what they are. Seeing things cutting through all the crap and seeing things for as they are. Right. And this says, as a man thinketh, so he is. As a man chooseth, so he is. Ralph Aldo, Waldo Emerson. And I love that these have pictures. It's a portrait of a man. See that artwork on there. Whatever you think in your mind, it's going to be your reality, you know? Just like, I think it was Aquarius's video, um, you know, like the Five of Cups being disappointed. You know, they have three cups spilled and two cups full. If you're focused on the three cups, of course you're going to be disappointed, right? You have to look at the two cups. What you think is your reality, all right? All right, so let's get another one on this. It's hard, believe me. I'm going through it too. I'm human. I'm just trying to help a little bit. Two of Pentacles now. Yeah, and then juggling too much stuff. You know, are you juggling stuff that you really don't like, but you want to do this and don't have a time for it and it's making you miserable? You know? Set priorities, people. Set priorities. Now we're going to get this angel. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink here. Oh, also, too, look at my cup. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> I almost wish I could live like those nomads. I think that's what they're called, nomads, where you just travel around, just get a camper and travel all to different cities, live like on the land. That would be awesome. Anyway, because it's all about money. Anyway, 
Angel. Attribute from the outset, the angel has been assigned to you. She keeps you from mishap and makes you give your best, but her protection is not guaranteed. Her assistance comes in a direct proportion to her willingness to search for truth. As long as you continue your soul's quest, she will be with you. But if you become lazy and refuse the journey, she will evaporate like mist into the island, into the ethers. See, they're trying to help you on your journey. But if you're like resisting it, not going along with it, choosing not to, choosing to settle, you know what I'm saying? I still think you're protected, but you know, th this is what this card's saying. Persona, when darkness falls across the landscape, the angel protects us from the in miseries of a disillusion. She's an angel of mercy, bringing gentle solace that holds at bay the night's bitter incubus, reassuring us that through the loneliness of self-doubt, guiding us towards our soul's intent. That really resonates with this one, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. Guiding us towards our soul's intent. She keeps us from straying too far into melancholy. Are you paying attention to your angels? And if you become overwhelmed by the rigors of our daily grind, she will help nourish you, us, hovering in the gray between the tangible and the metaphysical, visibly to no one but us. She speaks of truth that we are too frightened or tired to articulate. When she wraps us in her silvery wings, we feel her radiance coursing through our arteries, filling us with a poppy juice calm. She's a vigilant sentry and a luminous heart, escorting us to all that we can be, insisting we never settle for tepid image of a lesser self. See, that's why a lot of times we have that grief too, because we know we could do better or we're, we should be doing something else, but we're settling. You know, we're settling. All right. I'm going to use a different deck just in case, uh, you know, other cards want to come up. So we're going to use Modern Witch for this angel. Now, spirits tell me to use the Rider Weight for this one. Rider Weight for the angel. All right. Queen of Wands. Yeah. Being courageous. Going for what you want. Being confident. Not caring what other people think. Doing your life. What makes you happy? Not settling. All right. Let's see what else. Going within, having times of solitude. You don't need to jump from relationship to relationship to be happy. You don't have to please everybody else. You got to find it within. All right. So we had two cards there. Now we're going to do this last one. And I really think this is Gabayak. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. Because I don't see a word on that one. Let's see. Gabak. You might have to be patient with me with this one because I really don't know what this This is so weird. I don't see this one. Wait a minute. What is that? That's a number. Oh, it's line. It's in, it's in here. Lion. All right. I should have noticed. It is a lion. All right, lion. Okay. Interesting. We're in Leo season. Oh, are we not? No, I guess we just got out of Leo season. But we just have the Lion's Portal. Okay. Attribute. If you can convince him to be with you, you will also learn to temper your spurious inclinations. If it circumstances demand it, you'll be able to call upon his massive strength and ferocity. But he's not your pet. His noble heart exists to protect the abused and misused, and he arbors the cruelty of self-serving authority. Doesn't that sound like this world now? <laughs> to be self-serving and then you misuse their authority persona the lion has learned to tame the youthful inclinations that once led him to waste his power instead through resolve and self-restraint he has harnessed his stamina merely watching his massive shoulder blades rising and falling like pistons informs you of the force contained within his frame noble of heart and slow to stir the lion is for the most part passive but when provoked he becomes a da 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 Formidable force. When rampant, his will is containable, and he will snap any chains placed upon him as if they were cotton thread. If you are able to convince the lion to accompany you, his presence will give you great security. However, you must never take him for granted. While his will defends you against threat, 
He is principally there to protect the abused and those oppressed by authority and misrule. So, that strength and courage of that lion. That makes me want to watch Wizard of Oz. One, I like that, um, the Hawaiian guy's version of Over the Rainbow. Um, we were playing it at my son's um, funeral. Actually, that's what I want at my funeral, too. I love that song. But anyway, it just reminded me of what this lion here, <laughs> Wizard of Oz. So off topic let's go ahead and get um now we're going to use the modern witch with this lion what's up with this lion what cards do we need here spirit please okay well i have a couple taking risk moving on the journey that you want to go on whether people say it or not taking a risk taking a chance judgment you know, don't judge yourself too harshly. Be fair. Don't use your misuse your power. Because when you do, um, no, I'm not going to do the reversals. Because when you do, you get this nine of cups. When you go your your way, what you want to do. When you don't mistreat people. When you're grateful. When you're kind. When you're humble. Taking action towards your passions and creativity. No matter what anybody says, you don't have to go along with the crowd. So, that is your message today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day. And, again, subscribe if you haven't. And be on the lookout for the rest of those uh, September videos. Take care, everybody. Peace. Bye. Bye, Mary. <laughs> Bye.